Hi, it's Debbie here from Twilight Crafts. I just thought I would show you how to do my triangle background because a few people have been asking. Um, I've made a simple triangle stencil and worked out how many times the triangle will repeat using my O-level maths. I never thought I'd use it again. Um, and I've found out that it will repeat um, 18 times. So I've chosen six colours. I've chosen speckled egg, blueprint sketch, carved pumpkin, candied apple, picked raspberry and wilted violet. Um, I have started um, it already because I've had a few internet issues that I'm hoping are all sorted out now. <clears throat> so I'm on my first repeat so I'm going to um, start the speckled egg. Just going to move the stencil right up as close as I can to the last one and very gently ink with the blending brush these are absolutely fabulous. I haven't got on with any other brushes at all until we found these. So um, highly recommended. So if you just very gently do the first triangle and make sure it's right up close to the last colour. It doesn't matter if it's too uneven at the end because we're going to be adding another layer. Check that that's evenly covered. You can always just take it off to check. And it's pale, but it's looking okay. I might add a little bit more. So then all I do is move the stencil back slightly <clears throat> to create another triangle. So if I go back here and you can be a lot more heavy handed the next time. I suppose you could do this with different colours as long as you didn't get mud. You could have kind of contrasting colours but at the moment the only thing I've tried is kind of tone on tone. Because I quite like the effect. <clears throat> so you can see you build it up all the way round. Um, and I mean I might try stenciling the tone on tone with a stencil just to see if what effect that gives as well. So the next one is going to be blueprint sketch. As long as it's what um lined up close to the next one you'll get a really good finish don't forget to clean your stencil in between because blue mixing with blue is okay but some of the colors you'll just get a horrible a horrible finish When you're happy with it, just move the stencil back. And go over. That just builds up going around the piece of paper. Um, I'd love to see what you create. We've got some, I've got some backgrounds um, on Twilight. So um, hop on over and I'd love to see what you create if you make your own. Bye.